Travelers who have been to Jamaica tend to have two different answers when asked about the best time to visit. One group focuses on October to early December, when the risk of hurricanes decreases and high season and high prices haven't hit yet. The other group says any time of year is a good time to travel to the Caribbean island nation. After all, the Jamaican coast sees temperatures between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit just about every day. The biggest concern is hurricane season, which stretches from June to November. However, bargain hunters appreciate the low prices during this time period and argue that the risk of a downpour exists all year. In case you're wondering, October is the wettest month in Jamaica, with over 6 inches of rainfall, and March is the driest, with about 1 inch of rainfall. But heavy rainstorms can occur at almost any time. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button. And remember to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. In the video today, we take a look at some of the best times to visit Jamaica. Number 4 Autumn or Fall Autumn is both the best time and the worst time to visit Jamaica. The temperatures still range between the low 70s and mid 80s, but the rain can be at its heaviest. October in particular brings over 6 inches of rainfall and November and December see around 4 inches. Many recommend visiting in late October, November or early December when the rain dissipates but the high season crowds haven't arrived yet. Like spring, even the good days have a high chance of rain, but the positives outweigh the potential negatives. It's also a good time of year to enjoy some of Jamaica's nature beyond the beaches. The Blue Hole in the mountains above Ocho Rios is a popular tourist attraction and features a waterfall that leads into mountain lagoons for diving and swimming. Duns River Falls, also located near Ocho Rios, is perfect for folks who appreciate a little more splash in white water than the calmer Blue Hole. Nature, adventure and history fans are all impressed by the Negril Cliffs, where divers leap off rock formations and plunge into the water. Private caves can also be found in the crevices. Many stay in hotels near the drop to soak in panoramic views of the Caribbean Sea. As far as events, there are several marlin tournaments, October also as Heroes Day and Restaurant Week. The latter is filled with food specials throughout Kingston and Montego Bay. Number 3. Summertime Many advise staying away from Jamaica during hurricane season. However, others recommend visiting during this time to take advantage of the discounts, which can be as high as 60%. Compared with other Caribbean islands, Jamaica was left relatively unscathed by recent hurricanes Irma and Maria. But be sure to check the average monthly rainfall before you book your flight. For example, July brings about 2 inches of rainfall, which is as low as April. June and September both see around 5 inches of rainfall, and August falls somewhere between. It's probably best not to write off the entire season, but choose wisely. If you decide summer is the right time for your visit, consider investing in trip insurance. The argument for visiting Jamaica in the low season is compelling. Beaches are uncrowded, hotel rooms are available and discounted, and the temperatures range between the low 70s and high 80s. You can walk into top tier restaurants and score a table and reserve tea times at your leisure. That said, keep in mind that without steady crowds, hotels operate on skeleton crews, and many wait until low season to do construction. Some vacationers sit through half-hour rain showers and enjoy long, sunny days, while others spend entire afternoons sitting in their hotel room and staring at torrents of water pelting the sand. While the Jamaican lifestyle slows down in the summer, the number of festivals increases. In June, Caribbean Fashion Week attracts artists like Ashanti and models like Alicia Burke to Kingston. In July, Jamaica's largest concert, Reggae Sum Fest, comes to Montego Bay. Black River, Black River Day is a massive street festival that takes place in late July and celebrates the August 1st Emancipation Day. 
Later in August, the World Reggae Dance Championship showcases a variety of styles. Number 2. Spring For Jamaica, high season continues through mid-April. After that, the throngs of people dissipate and the precipitation picks up, from 2 inches of rainfall in April to 4 inches in May. The temperatures are still balmy, most in the 70s and 80s. Those interested in a resort getaway may have an easier time finding discount packages during this time. At the top of the stack is the all-inclusive Jamaica Inn in Ocho Rios. Here, all rooms have water views plus snorkeling, sailing and spa treatments are included. The Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites is a little easier on the wallet and more family friendly with a kids club, water park and in-house casino. While many might not associate Jamaica with world-class links, several construction projects in the last 20 years have built up the island's golf game. The Trial Golf Club has been around for several decades and hosted numerous championship players. Cinnamon Hill Ocean Course gives players water views on the first nine holes and mountain vistas on the latter greens. Plus, the waterfall on the 15th hole made a cameo appearance in one of the steamier scenes from the James Bond flick, Live and Let Die. In the spring, passionate golfers will have less of a struggle finding a reasonable tea time. Seasonal events include the St. Elizabeth Articultural Society Flower Show and the Curry Festival. The latter takes place at the end of April in Westmoreland and offers numerous inter interpretations of the signature Caribbean dish, including chocolate curry. The Jamaica International Kite Festival, an Easter Monday in St. Anne, takes advantage of the winds rising off the bay. Number 1. Winter Most travelers visit Jamaica in the winter, that's December to March, which closely aligns with the country's high season. Peak tourist season also means that services are running strong, beaches are packed and prices high. Given the high occupancy rates, you usually need to book two or three months in advance to get a quality resort or hotel. Even the most populated beaches are still a little more airy than those in other parts of the world. Doctors, Doctors Caves Beach in Montego Bay bans radios, footballs and hawkers, and the changing and showering facilities are clean and well maintained. Cornwall Beach, which is next to Doctor's Cave, offers a lot of the same pluses, but it is usually less crowded. Negril Seven Mile Beach is a little more of a party scene, with glam sunbathers and jerk chicken vendors. Be warned, March is the beginning of spring break season, so expect some more shenanigans than usual. As for parties, Jamaica's most of famous musicians congregate in Kingston during the first week of February for Bob Marley Week. The events include concerts, lectures, fashion shows, and karaoke contests. The Bob Marley Museum, a simple clapboard house where the musician once lived, is the center of the action. Music lovers can also check out the Bob Marley Birthday Bash concert in Negril. <laughs> Thank you for joining me again guys. I really do hope you found this video interesting. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica by clicking that red subscribe button. And turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. You can also join the WhatsApp group by using the link in the description below. Until then, I am Alex. Bless.